what is the biblical numerology biblical numerology is the study of numbers in the bible and two of the most uh, commonly repeated numbers in the bible are number 7 and number 40 the number 7 signifies or uh, perfection when we look at uh, genesis chapter uh, 7 from verse uh, 2 to 4 it shows about completion the bible says of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by sevens the male and his female and of beasts that are not clean by two the male and his female of falls of the air by sevens the male and the female to keep seed upon the face of all the earth for yet seven days and i will cause it to rain upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights and every living substance that I have made will I destroy from off the face of the earth. So have you seen this one? Number 7 basically uh, signifies completion, okay, or perfection. And of course uh, we see also as well in uh, the book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 20 says, The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand and uh, the seven golden candlesticks and the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches and the seven candlesticks which thou sowest are the seven churches does that make some sense to you number seven so it is often called uh, god's number number seven and since he is the only one who is perfect and complete like the Bible tells us in the book of Revelation chapter 4 verse 5, And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices, and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. Alright, that's, that's perfection. Okay, And also we see uh, uh, Revelation 5 verse 1, it says, And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside sealed with seven seals again uh, revelation 5 5 uh, to 6 it says and one of the elders said unto me weep not behold the lion of the tribe of judah the root of david has prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven seals thereof all right and i beheld law in the midst of the throne and uh, of the four beasts in the midst of you know all that is speaking also about seven and now Number three is also thought to be the number of divine perfection. For example, the Trinity consists of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That is three. And uh, number four, uh, number 40, sorry. Number 40 is often understood as the number of probation or trial. All right. For example, the Israelites wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. They were tried for 40 years. The Bible tells us in the book of Deuteronomy, uh, chapter 8, verse 2 to 5, And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord God led thee these 40 years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee and to know what was in thine heart, whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or not. You see? So they wandered for 40 years. God proving their hearts so it is a number of probation or trial and of course we see as well moses was on the mount uh, for 40 days 40 days moses was on the mount the bible says in the book of exodus chapter 24 verse 18 and moses went into the midst of the cloud and got him up into the mount and moses was in the mount for 40 days and 40 nights probation <laughs> okay uh, we see 40 days were involved in the story of Jonah and Nineveh. Do you remember that? 40 days. The Bible says in Jonah 3, 4, And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey. And he cried and said, Yet 40 days and Nineveh shall be overthrown. So it's like God is saying, I'm giving you a probation of only 40 days. And after that, everything will, 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 will be different now. There'll be a different form of things. Maybe it's a probation or trial for him to test you, okay? And even um, in the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 2, there were 40 days between Jesus' resurrection and ascension. 
Let me read for you Matthew 4 2. And when he had fasted 40 days, oh, even before that, let me talk about temptation of Jesus actually. He was tempted for 40 days. When he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward hungered. You see, even Jesus himself being God, he also uh, got into 40 days of probation. All right? To have him tested. So even when we believe in Jesus, we don't believe in someone who has not gone through uh, trials and temptations just like we do. He knows us very well. He understands how we feel. He understands the things that we go through. All right? That's why he's our great high priest. He knows our infirmities. And of course, like I was saying, there were about 40 days between Jesus' ascension, resurrection, and ascension. Okay? Look at this. The Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 3, To whom also he showed himself alive after his passion to many infallible proofs, being seen of them 40 days, and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. 40 days Jesus was on earth before he went up. Another Bible uh, number, which is uh, always repeated, is number four, which is the number of creation, north, south, east, and west, four seasons. And the number six is also thought to be the number of man. Man was created on the sixth day. Man labors six days only. And of course, the seventh day he rested. He, he rests. Another example of the Bible using a number to signify something is the number 6, 6, and 6. And this is the number of the Antichrist in Revelation chapter 13. You can go and read there. So whether or not the numbers really do have a significance, it is still debated in many circles. And the Bible definitely seems to use numbers in patterns or to teach a spiritual truth. However, many people put too much significance on the Bible numerology, trying to find a special meaning behind every number in the Bible. And often, a number in the Bible is simply a number. God does not call us to search for secret meanings, hidden messages and codes in the Bible. There is much more than enough truth in the words and meanings of the scripture to meet all our needs and make us completely thoroughly and equipped for every good work as the bible says in second timothy 3 16 that all scripture is given by inspiration of god and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness and that's the end of our today's bible study lesson hope it was a blessing to you Hope you did learn something. And remember, you can always download this podcast to listen later offline or to share to your friends and family. And please don't forget to favorite our podcast and subscribe to our channel so that you can always be notified whenever we post a new Bible study lesson. And if you'd like to get saved or you need uh, to get a step-by-step Bible verses on the order of salvation so that you can well preach to your friends or family or maybe just feel led to support our ministry or buy some cool Christian merchandise, kindly visit our website, Keith muoki.com for more details and breakdown. Otherwise, I hope to see you soon in the next one.